five on my top five of all time. Yeah. Daredevil by Brian Michael Bennis and Alex Maloney. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even think mm. about that one. Mm. Because, yes. This ran from issue 26 to 82 of volume two. They took a little break in between for David Mack's little echo story. That's right. There. That's um, right. But for the most part, it was just four years straight of some of the best crime slash superhero fiction I've ever read in my life. Yeah, that was absolutely, and beautiful too. Beautiful. Like the, the gritty cinematic style. I like most of the time I felt like I was watching something more than reading. It, yeah, that, yeah, you're right. Oh, Whew. it's so damn good. That is so damn good. It, it's so good that when, uh, was it Lark and mm. Rucka showed up? Lark and uh, Ed Brubaker. Yes, Brubaker and Lark. That's and that, right. that was a great team to follow. But I, damn, I, I how do you follow that? I didn't check it out because I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Especially because the end where he's in the, what is it, courtroom? Yeah. And they do that flashback. Like, yeah. he's in his head and he, like, flips out. Goes to Japan. Yeah, I know. And then he's just like, I can't do that. And you're like, he actually goes to jail. It's crazy. Yes. So good. So good. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so many will say that it rivals uh, Frank Miller's classic run. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. I would say so, too. I think it tops it. And I think it tops it just because I, I like the realism of it all more. Miller yeah. introduced a lot of really interesting ideas and characters, Electra, Bullseye, you know. Um, yeah, he did do a lot, but he also was one of the guys that was trying to downplay the powers aspect. Yes. And make it more like he was just, like, training. Through training, he had better senses and stuff like yeah. that. And I kind of like that, I like that he's got powers. Mm -hmm. I like that, like, he can taste chemicals and smell chemicals and things like that. Yeah. Or, like, he can feel ink on paper and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. All these things, and, and especially because be. when they start to fuck with him hard, it's like using his powers against him. Yeah. And it's it really well done. And yeah, like, uh, Ben just really got dared up. Like, we were talking about this in the last episode, like, last week. Ish. Um, ish. Give or take. You know, when you were talking about Ultimate Spider-Man and how Bendis, when he knows a character, mm. he knows that character. The dialogue is spot on. You think you are reading this person in front of you like this. Yeah. Everything's totally true. Like his characterization is up. unbelievable. And it's not just Daredevil. Like Foggy Nelson, Kingpin, Typeway Mary, Daredevil, Black Widow. Like he had so I many characters. I remember when they, when they in introduced Typeway Mary, I geeked out because I was like, oh my God. Like that was one of the ones that I, when I first read a couple of offshoot uh, issues of Daredevil. And yep. it was Miller's run. Yeah. Um, and Typhoid Mary was one of them, and I remember just being like, fuck, she looks crazy. She looks crazy cool. But I agree. I, I, I do think this is better than Miller's Run. Yeah, I mean, I've read Miller's Run, and it's it's great. Yes, it is great. As far as runs have aged, this has aged better. And yes, it's newer, but I feel like 20 years from now, I'm going to be saying the same yeah, thing. Yeah, and I have to agree. In fact, that's I'm going to have to put that back on my poll list. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that phrase? Oh man, the pull is. Yeah. Yeah. Like even when they got into the crazier aspects, like uh, remember when it was the demon? Yes. You know, and and like there was, a, they were all in like sort of a narcotics anonymous type of thing, mm -hmm. and they were talking about Daredevil, and then Daredevil's actually in the room, and he's just like, "Oh, I'm here for the." I can't remember what the demon's name was, but even just that art was. Crazy. And introducing, I, I forget her name, I think it was... Mila. Mila. Mia or Mia? Mia, my wife. Mia, but I thought it was, it was spelled he, Mila, so it might be... Yeah, he, but anyway, meet, he meets this blind, blind woman, he meets this blind woman, and they connect, and we see their relationship grow, and they get married, and then we see what she has to go through knowing he's Daredevil, and it's, it's incredible. It is it absolutely is so incredible. Good. Remember the, the scene where uh, she says, uh, what was it? Foggy thinks you had a nervous breakdown. Mm -hmm. Did you? And he doesn't say anything. And then she leaves him because she feels yeah. like their entire relationship was built around him having a nervous breakdown. Yep. You know? And I thought that was really cool that like they went there with actually uh, confronting a hero and saying, hey, like I think you might have had a nervous breakdown. And it's, it, again, that's what I'm talking about like, with the realism. Like, shit, that would happen. Yeah. I don't care how strong you are or how, how many bad guys you've taken down. 
shit's gonna it's get the mental to you. Aspect. Shit is gonna get to you. Yeah. You got innocence around you. You got to worry about all the time. Like I can't imagine what kind of stress that would be like. Exactly. And it was, and like the courtroom drama too was so well researched and so well written. Everything about this book, and and Bendis did not hold back. He fucked Matt Murdock <clears throat> hard the entire yeah. run. Like what was it? Like three, four issues in, unmasked. Yep. It's all over. Like all Matt over. Murdock is there. Now. And the rest of the run is him basically doing everything he can to say no. Yeah. I'm not daring up. Yeah. No, it's bullshit. You know? Uh but you know, the Kingpin of Crime. Mm-hmm. He kicks the fuck out of Kingpin. I know. And says he unmasks and goes, I'm him. I'm the Kingpin. You answer to me now. Yeah. You either do what as I say or get out. Yeah. I was like, I can't fucking believe I'm seeing this. So much so that when I saw Luke Cage season two, did you watch season two? I haven't watched it, no. You ready for a spoiler? Go for it. Are you going to watch it? I uh, Maybe one day. I've been so incredibly disappointed by their shows lately, I'm just not having a rush. He becomes the kingpin of crime. <laughs> really? <laughs> almost, almost the same thing. He, uh, gets rid of Stokes, finally. Stokes, Shades is gone. <laughs> He ends up becoming the new owner of the nightclub, and even uh, Misty. Misty's like, "What are you? What are you doing?" And he's like, "Yeah, relax. Uh, I'm just gonna do this so that I can keep an eye on everything." His is a little bit more. It's less like, "That's it. I'm the kingpin." It's more like, "No, oh, I'm, I'm gonna use this to help me be a better crime fighter." Mm-hmm. And you're just kind of like, "Ah, I don't know what they're yeah. gonna do with this yeah. one." But at least we don't get to stare at do that because it's fucking crazy. But at the same time, you're just like, how do you bounce back from that? Mm-hmm. And ultimately, he doesn't. He doesn't bounce back from that because from jail, I think uh, Kingpin's like, uh, oh yeah, the Murdoch papers. Yeah. Good pick. Good pick. You fucking nailed it right out of the gates. Bendis, in the early 2000s, um, him with Miller, they're, they're like essentially my comic heroes. I would... Friggin' read anything those two guys would Yeah, you were a huge Millar fan. They, when they arrived at Marvel, I had no idea who these two guys were, and they ran a show. I, I, I watched this hilarious interview. Um, not an interview, but Bendis uh, Miller. I'm Miller. I keep Millar. hearing it's Millar. I hear Millar. I, I, I hear, hear Millar, Millar more than Miller. So. I hear Miller more if it's interviewers, like, from over there. Like, Ireland, Stalin and stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, it looks like Millar spelled out. Yeah. But it well, was, I remember when we first started saying it, it was Miller. Yeah. It was Miller, so. Was, Whatever. I, I know Miller. who you're talking about. You know who I'm talking yeah. about. But it was recently, it was a, a, a convention just like a couple months back, and the two of them were on stage just talking to each other. Hmm. And it was so great because while well, Miller's talking about Miller World and the whole Netflix deal. Yeah. Ben is talking about his health and moving over to DC and how amazing Marvel was saying goodbye to him and everything. And it's such a great conversation between the two. But this hilarious tidbit came out where they said during their, their big heyday at Marvel, when they went to retreats, Casada wouldn't let them ride in the same cab together. Because he if a cab got an accident, he didn't want to lose the two others. <laughs> they had to take separate vehicles. <laughs> How that's, insane is that? That is absolutely Like, talk crazy. about feeling like a rock star. Yeah, and I mean, like, I'm not as huge a Millar fan as you are. Like, I feel like, for me, he's more miss than hit. He, he's, he's, these days, he's not really hitting that much. His Jupiter's, uh, Jupiter's Circle stuff yeah. is amazing. I read the first issue of Magic Order, and it's really good. Yeah, eh? What was the other also one? It's also Oliver uh, Caldoom in the art, so. Starlight? Starlight was another one? Starlight was good. I Huck, really Huck I enjoyed. Yeah, I wanted to check Huck out wasn't Huck. too bad. Like some of his, actually, some of his later stuff, but like even. Uh, but I've become tired of Kick Ass and Hit Girl over time, and I well, don't really read those much anymore. For me, what it is is just, and it's it's Malar himself too. Is like with the stuff that I've mentioned, none of it seems like it's there just for shock value. Mm-hmm. Whereas like with Kick Ass, there's like the rape scene and the fucking. The dog head scene. And, There's a lot of... You know, and this. I get Ugh. that this is supposed to be a realistic interpretation of what a kid as a crime fighter would be like. Um, never mind that he wouldn't just get shot in the first yeah. two seconds. I mean, you can't tell a story that way. But, like, some of it's like, like you don't need to have a rape scene. Mm-hmm. 
You don't need to have a dude's head switched over with his dog. Like that was just that was and disgusting. Then just show it. That was disgusting. So like I Millar mean, is always been one of like I'm guarded when I look at Millar stuff. Yeah. You know, which is a shame because at the same time, like the Civil War was fucking amazing. His initial run on the Ultimate X Men was also crazy cool. Yeah. His Fantastic Four stuff. The Ultimates themselves. The Ultimates, yeah, the Ultimates one and two were just holy shit. I mean, like, well, I mean, the Ultimate line was ginormous back then, and so. Yeah, they were Marvel's money makers. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So I mean, like, I wanted, I definitely wanted a Bendis on this list. I knew a Bendis book was going to end up on this list. Yeah. It was between totally this, it was didn't between even this. Daredevil. I haven't checked out Daredevil yeah. in quite some time. This Ultimate Spidey and Powers, but I feel like Ultimate Spidey and Powers have both gone like this every now and then, where I lose interest and I come back to it. Okay. Whereas this was just a solid freaking perfect read all the way through yeah it was actually really really good and yeah. you're right like even though i like i just said i, I finished the uh, the entire run and you're right like there are parts, which is a definite high point yeah of all the depth right yeah but like you're right there are parts like it starts off like this and it but it does it, kinda, it does a little dip and it goes up again <gasps> that's right so, and then like after bagley left i didn't really read much after it because i remember even when they switched the branding to uh ultimate comics ultimate com comic spider-man and then, uh, they, was it Sarah Pacelli? Like, early Sarah Pacelli art? She, no, she came no. in She came in with uh, Miles. It That's was right. A, a David LaFuente, the guy yes, who made La Fuente. the big round head. Yes, <laughs> and I couldn't, I could not get into that art. And even when they had, like, a really cool take on Mysterio, yeah. I could not get into that run at all. And they also, like, he got back with MJ, then they broke up. It was really weird. So yeah, you're right. But yeah. yeah so so Daredevil number five. Yeah, but how does it end? How, the Murdoch Papers doesn't even exist. I know. It was a way to get Murdoch out in the open and shoot him in broad daylight, so that yeah. there's his blood as Daredevil on the fucking steps. That's fucking crazy. And then of course he gets arrested. Yeah. And goes to jail. And then what happens? Ben is Malibu like, okay, guys, enjoy. Yeah. Like, Brubaker and Lark coming into that? that I'll give that's them credit, be daunting. Though. I'll like, give them credit, though, because oh. they went with it, because they're like, okay, well, yeah, instead of retcon the whole thing, they went, well, no, he's in jail. Yeah. Iron Fist is going to be Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Punisher is going to be in jail helping out fucking Matt Murdock. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. So good. <laughs>